Hi, this is Stefan Marek from Conductor, and welcome to this video on getting started with Conductor. So there are three methods to get started with Conductor. We can sign up for Conductor Cloud, you can have a quick start with Docker, or you can explore our demo environments. So very simply, you just click on Access Demo and you will see what Conductor is about. So very quickly, you can, for example, access the console, and here you will have access to the FSO Conductor, where you can see your topics, your partitions, and so on. And as you can see, there's a lot to explore, but that is reserved for another video. So this is method one using the demo environment. The second option is to sign up for Conductor Cloud. And with this method, you will have the option to connect to any of your cafe clusters that is publicly accessible. So that could be a cafe cluster on the cloud anywhere else. On top of it, when you start with Conductor Cloud, you will get your own cafe cluster that's personal to you. It's called Playground. And you will also have a company cafe cluster, also called Playground, that you can share with your colleagues. So let me show you. First, let me click on Create Accounts. And then I have to just create an account. So let me just add a password in. Then you should enter a few information about yourself. Your company name, for example, for me, of course, it's Conductor. And then you would create a URL for you. So this is Conductor Demo. Then you can invite your team members. So this is if you have a shared cluster on Conductor, which you will have for free, then you can share that cluster with your colleagues. Just enter their emails here, for example, joe at conductor.io, and then click on send invites. And right away, you are in Conductor. Very cool. So I told you there are two things you can do here. You have your personal cluster, your personal playground, and your organization's playground. That's why it says conductor's playground. So for your personal cluster, click on view configuration, and you have your bootstrap URL, your username and password that you should use with these properties. And this gives you access to a Kafka cluster that's available only for you with your own data on the cloud. So this is free and doesn't require any credit card to get started. So as you can see in here, for example, you could create a topic. This will be my test topic. And here we go. You have a topic to connect to, and this is on your own playground, which you can find the details to connect to on the homepage. And then finally, also, you will have some, the company's playground. So this is a cluster you can share with your colleagues. So you can manage your team right here and invite new members to share your company playground. And again, that is free. And to connect to that company playground very easily, you can go into your cluster configuration, find your conductor playground, and you will have the information for connecting right here. Okay, so that's method two. And the third method is to use Docker. So very simply, you launch conductor and you have the instructions for Mac, Windows, and Linux. You paste this command, and this will start the container for conductor. Very simply, you enter your admin and your password. That's right here. So you can click on this link to access localhost 8080. And finally, you're going to configure your cluster by going into the conductor interface where you can specify your bootstrap servers, your authentication mechanism, and so on. So you can connect to any cluster running on your own network or on the public web. And if you're trying to access a local cluster on localhost 1992, we have included instructions to configure that localhost cluster to also allow Conductor to connect to it. So that's it. We've seen how to get started with Conductor. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next video.